Hi everybody, welcome back to my Creo Tutorial channel. Um, today we will be doing part 7 of our um, tutorial series. Um, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of detailing. So what I've done is I've actually opened one of my old assemblies. Um, and what we're going to do is just take one of these parts and we are going to actually detail it and <clears throat> create an actual sketch that you can print in PDF. So what we're going to start with is I'm going to remove my planes firstly because as you all know I, I don't enjoy having them there all the time. Then I'm going to move towards the part that I want to select. So I'm going to select, I'm going to right click, I'm going to say open. This will open our part uh, generic and flat that will dive into when we do sheet metal but for now we're just going to say generic we're going to say open as you can see there's our, our part that we just had this by the way is a part I designed from scratch on my own um, it is actually a fold down table for your workshop so if you are interested in that please hit me up with a, a email or a comment and I can send you some either drawings or I can maybe manufacture one for you anyway if you guys like the content of my video go like and subscribe and obviously then you'll see the rest of the series um, I'm going to be doing a whole lot more videos about all the features on Creo um, and I'm going to try and make it as fun as possible and as easy as possible. So go hit that like and subscribe and um, we can carry on a little bit. Thanks guys. Okay, so now that I've got my part, what I'm going to do is, because I want to detail now. Okay, so what we're going to do is, we are going to say new. We are going to say drawing. Then I'm going to copy the actual name of the file dash zero zero dash zero two dash zero two okay for obvious reasons we want to be able to find it with the same name and it will reference to each other anyway okay then once we've done that we say okay okay i already have a drawing with this name so all we're going to do is we're going to say underscore just for the purpose of this right now then we're going to say okay we are going to say, we are not going to use a template. We are going to say empty with format. I'm going to say browse. Then we can select one of our preset formats right here. So I'm just going to select, let's say, let's say a, ah, let's just say a. Um, we'll dive into creating a format in one of our later videos um okay so a open empty format if you don't want a format if you just want a title block you can just click on empty and it will just give you a surrounding block around your actual drawing um but we're not going to do that right now so we've selected a we're going to say okay now it's going to ask me again, generic or flat. So first we're going to do the generic. Let's say open. Okay. As you see, there's your your format. So you can add your comments, your names, your little logo of your business, uh, whichever you want to do on this standard uh, format that they give you. Um, again, we'll dive into format editing and creating at a later stage. Right now, we are just going to detail this part. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to say insert general view. And then I'm going to click wherever I like. That will be where the part is going to be. Okay, so now our drawing window is going to pop up like this. As you can see in our window here. Yeah? Um, <clears throat> 
you've got all your different views now. These are the same views as your as your orientation in your um, design area. So if we go top and I say apply, give me my top view. If I go right, apply, it will give me my right view. So we're going to start with a standard orientation. As you can see, we're going to say, okay, we are going to go over the drawing or the part to highlight. If we click and we right click, we untick lock view movement, then we can shift this drawing wherever we want on our, on our format. Okay. Now, the part's a little bit small. So, there are two ways of changing the scale on this drawing. I can either change the part drawing, the part scale, so I can left click, hold my right click in, properties, drawing view pops up in. We go to scale, we click on custom scale, we edit the scale there. We say one, and then we say okay, and it will change the scale. Okay. But then the rest of your drawing is going to have a different scale to it because then any other part you may put in here is going to have a different scale so that has its its pros and cons obviously it depends on what you're drawing and all that so what we can do here is i'm going to actually go 0 0.75 say apply okay and say close now this i will explain to you in two seconds why i've done this so we are going to put this part right there. Okay, so this is your your display, the display of your item. So I'm only putting, this is just to see what the part's going to look like when it is finished. Okay, so now to remove this scale here, all I have to do is go to my annotate tab, select and push delete. Okay. And that scale will be gone but again be, be aware that now everybody's going to think that's the scale okay right at the bottom here so now i'm going to go back to layout okay i'm going to right click again i'm going to say insert general view i'm going to left click again in another place okay now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to say the right face okay as you can see there now it is showing me that face okay but now i do not want the shaded version so what i'm going to go do is i'm going to go to view display we are going to go display style we're not going to follow the environment we are going to say obviously you've got wireframe hidden no hidden shading wireframe is all the lines will be visible hidden the sections at the back will be lighter lines no hidden will only be as if it's a 3d that you can only see those edges and then shading is what we are on right now so i normally use no hidden apply as you can see and i say close okay so now i have my first version of my bot but now the scale again is a little bit small so what do i do i go to my scale on the bottom left here and I double click. Okay, now it gives me the scale. Now I can say 0 0.6 for instance. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now again, click on it, you can move it wherever I like. Okay, now, now obviously we want the other views. Okay, we don't want just this view, we want the side view, we want the top view. Okay, so you are going to left click you are going to right click you are going to say insert projection view and it is going to give me that view okay again so this is the program turning the part to the other view from there okay if i went i'll show you if i do this insert projection and i go this way it will actually turn it the other way as you can see now it shows you from the front okay so what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to use that one not this one that we did originally so all i'm going to do is i'm going to click again just push delete 
and it's gone okay shift that one there i'm gonna shift this one over here okay now again this one is not the same as this one so what are we going to do we're going to click right click properties view display no hidden and okay okay now the next part of this is going to be again click right click insert projection bottom same thing if i'm going to go this side it's going to show me one direction if i go this side it's going to show me a different direction of our part okay and again i just click okay now again not the same okay i don't have to go into each part if i highlight all my parts right click properties i can change all of them at the same time so now say i want them all to be hidden okay so apply and close as you can see there it's showing you all the hidden holes and slots and so on and that's the that's how to orientate your parts okay so again <clears throat> this part is not going to be the same view as this it's not going to be the same scale but that depends on how you set this up okay if you wanted the same scale like i said do not use the custom scale go back to your normal scale and it will reference to this so if you change the scale there it will change the scale yeah okay now before we move on to annotations i think annotations will do in part eight we are going to do add a page so we are going to say add a page here at the bottom yeah right yeah i'm gonna click and automatically it gives me a page okay if your format has restraints like who did the drawing uh, what's the material what is the scale those will all pop up at the top here and you can fill them in and say okay as you go um, I'll dig into that like I said in the, another video um, okay so now that we've got our page two okay obviously that part that we have here is a bent part okay we obviously going to need the flat part as well because if we're going to send it to um, anybody for laser cutting we need to have the flat part as well for laser cutting and bending so what we're going to do is we're going to click on sheet 2 we're going to right click and we are not going to say insert we are going to go drawing models okay add model we are going to say the same part that we do not click there it's not going to give you the right one i know this is a mistake most people make is you click on the flat and it's not the one you want okay you want to click on that one then we say open then again this menu as when we started pops up so then what you're going to do is you're going to click flat say open we are going to right click and say insert and your new flat version will be there so now if we go right and apply you will now have your flat version with your bending angle okay so once you've got this now okay we're going to change this again right click properties scale i'm going to say one we're going to say apply get it nice and big say close we are going to shift this just a tad okay so now we are going to say click right click properties view display no hidden apply okay now as you can see here i've got those lines from my bending radius if you want to call it that on my sketch okay so if this is going to the laser cutters you do not want those because they will cut them in okay 
So what you're going to do is you are going to go yeah tangent edge display and you're going to say none and those will go away close okay now from here we go annotate and you can left click on your bend angle left click hold in and just drag it if it doesn't move as you saw there all i did was i zoomed in it is a bit of a it's a glitch that pro has always had um not many people know this and they're like oh why is it not moving all you do is you zoom in or out a little bit and you try again and it will move um can't tell you what it is but it does do that okay now that's given you that okay but now obviously you need a bending line so where do we go show model annotations okay then this menu will pop up then you're going to click right on this one at the end okay then you're going to hover over your part and see which part you want to select now this is obviously where your bend was as we said we removed those lines but they are still in the background so we're going to click on those and automatically you see yeah it's popping up with a menu here we select it and we say okay and there it will actually give you the center line okay now the reason you need this is obviously for bending purposes you need a dimension for them to reference to know where they're going to bend it this is the angle that they're going to bend it and so on and so forth so now that you have this all you have to do is click on your dimension you are going to click on this line you are going to push control you are going to click on your axis and in the middle at the top here you are going to hit the center button of your mouse and push it in and that ladies and gentlemen is how you do a dimension okay well that's going to be our annotation and our um, drawing section for today i will continue with this in the next video um, and then we will dig deeper into all our features and so on but this is the basics of creating a actual sketch um, or actual drawing that you can print pdf email whatever um, this is how you're going to go about it so if you guys have enjoyed this go like and subscribe as i always ask um, if you have any questions comment email or any suggestions of things you might want me to do videos about put in the comments i will respond and i will try and do a video for you okay everybody thanks for watching and i hope to see you all soon